How's it going everyone? My name is Taylor, otherwise known as Ninkata, and I'm back here today with another Madden 22 video. And here we're in franchise mode where we will be taking control of the Jacksonville Jaguars in an effort to cut all of our players, trade them, get rid of them all to make a team full of kickers and punters and see how long it will take us before we get a win here in franchise mode. So you can see us getting rid of some players here. We're making some trades, just doing Urban Meyer things, trying to make the city of Jacksonville proud. This team is absolutely atrocious. As you can see here, it's all kickers and punters. We're gonna begin assigning them different positions and we do still have Trevor Lawrence because we have big plans for him. So you can see a couple of different position changes, Pat O'Donnell to tight end, JK Scott to wide receiver. We're cutting all of our scouts because we're not required for any of them. We're only gonna be drafting punters, so why does it matter? Although we probably will get cut before the end of the season. You can see Trevor Lawrence here now. We're gonna move him to practice squad after going 0-4 in the preseason. Here's our zero overall lineup where most of our positions are 12 overall and we are looking to have a horrible season that is for sure we're getting the things kicked off here against the texans but the texans here in madden do have deshaun watson so they're not as inept as they are in real life getting things started we're going to our running back johnny townsend and he is definitely the mvp he does get injured here but he will come back later in the game Hoff Richter right here getting the handoff that might be one of his only handoffs in the whole franchise The Texans defense with a big stop here on fourth down against the Jaguars offense. We were trying to get a touchdown instead of field goals because that won't quite cut it. A Michael Jackson dance move here at the beginning of the play for Deshaun Watson is going to help him travel 31 yards to the end zone for six, putting the Texans up seven to nothing after the extra point. Johnny Hecker here is going to hand the ball off to Evan McPherson up the middle, and he is going to show his power and prowess as a running back. He's going to go all the way for the first down. So on third and six here, John Hecker, he's going to drop back with all of his wide receivers out wide, and he's going to run left side, a wide open running room, but he's only able to make it 13 yards, at least able to grab the first down. So here dropping back, he's looking right side, and that one is going to get picked off. He was looking to get six there and doesn't work out. So we're going to have to restart our whole game plan now as we're going to be down 14 to nothing after this amazing run by david johnson here just one cut and he is gone for a 92 yard touchdown so here back on offense we're on the 50 yard line it's 14 to nothing two minute warning just hit and jk scott with the drop falls right into the Texans defender hands for the interception so back on offense third and four it's we're down 28 to nothing things aren't looking too good but we are trying to get out of here without putting up a big donut on the board here on fourth and six it's going to be a big play for John Hecker he drops back looking throwing Jamie Gillen with the best play of the day here for the Jaguars defense, the Jaguars team as a whole really, as he gets an interception from Deshaun Watson. A big play that won't matter in the grand scheme of things, but help the pride of this team. So Johnny Hecker, fake handoff looking deep throws and that finds its way into the arms of a Texans defender. So that pretty much all but does it here to wrap up this game is we're gonna lose big time, but even bigger than you'd imagine as it come down to 49 to nothing. We did everything we could to try and get a touchdown we didn't care about a field goal but it just was all for naught so here on third and eight a handoff up the left side for johnny townsend he's gonna get stuffed for a quick three and out here against the broncos so left side is melvin gordon as he makes a couple of nice moves and he is gone 43 yards to the house so already not the best way to open up this game, but we're hoping to change things here. Evan McPherson is in the backfield, and we're going to hand it off to him right up the gut. Looking left side, he breaks a tackle, and then gets brought down before the first down. Fourth and three here. At a, around midfield, slightly in the Broncos side, we do give the ball to Johnny Townsend, and he reaches for the first down. An amazing play from him right there. Throwing the ball is Hecker, and J.K. Scott able to come down with it this time, but it's only for two yards. We will put up the three points as it's still a close game, and we have a chance of making this one. So if it does, that will actually help. 
So here we are, Teddy Bridgewater now. He's looking to drop back, and he's going to throw the slant wide open right here, and that is going to be six. Our players just cannot keep up with this speed. Kickers and punters are real slow, so after not doing much on offense, the Broncos back have the ball here again. Teddy Bridgewater looking left side, and that one finds its way into the arms of Tim Patrick, I believe it was. On the goal line here, first and goal at the one. Touchdown for Tim Patrick. So why are you breaking up with me again? Because I found someone better than you, and you're always cheating on me. Like, I had enough of this. Holy time. shit, I just hit a clip! So the deep bomb down the sideline here to Cortland Sutton lands to take them down all the way to our 13 yard line and that just made it look entirely more bleak. They would end up scoring a touchdown. Here's Johnny Hecker dropping back looking for the wide open Townsend. This is not Johnny Townsend but his brother Tommy Townsend. I know that sounds fake but it's real. Here later in the game it's 49 to 3 at this point. Everything's looking pretty bad. Johnny Townsend does make a really good run here it's a fumble but it would later be overturned so here's evan mcpherson later he almost gets stripped but falls forward to almost get the touchdown here on first and goal we have johnny hecker just diving in ends up getting face masked into the touchdown so we're 49 to 9 and here we're gonna do a fake field goal they knew it was coming they had the perfect defense out for this but they still cannot stop pat o'donnell so an amazing two-point conversion there would lead it 49 to 11. So you can see a little bit of improvement. We did trade for Mitch Wishnowski from the 49ers to make him a quarterback as he is the fastest punter or kicker, I believe, in the game. Uh, so we wanted to try and make our offense that more of like Lamar's or Kyler Murray with a lot more running around scramble action. Speaking of which, here's Kyler Murray after we went three and out, and he's looking to do damage against this weak Jaguars defense. Dropping back, looking, running this three verts cheese against us like this is some online play, and Christian Kirk is wide open down the field. Obviously, Matt Bosher can't keep up with him step for step. So here we are, and they're in pistol formation. Kyler Murray left side, and look at this little midget just run. He is gone. Look at how fast and quick he looks compared to these punters. I couldn't even keep up with him, just trying to stay in front of him to prevent that touchdown at all costs. So 7 to nothing still, but they're looking to make it 14 to nothing Here on 3rd and 11, James Conner just ends up stepping out of bounds pretty much on his own. And so they would only get the field goal there. They would choose to not go for it on 4th down. An amazing 4th down throw there leads to a 1st down, and I believe that was actually Johnny Hecker. We do like to substitute him in when we want to actually throw. We'll run some 4 verts here to get the green. A lot of lanes open for Mitch Wisnowski to run. Back to Johnny Hecker here, who's going to throw and misses the wide open target. So no points coming away with that. It's still 10 to nothing, and Kyler Murray throwing left side here. Look at that throw. We really did an all-out blitz there, so there's no safety help on the back end, and he is gone for the 61-yard touchdown. Nothing we could really say or do about it there, but we're back on offense now, trying to get some points up before the half. We're running some more four verts with Mitch Wisnowski, going to just take off. Has some open running lanes, but he gets 17 yards. So here we are, third and goal on the one yard line. And Amendola, the fullback, takes that one up the gut for a one yard touchdown and puts us down 17 to 7. He missed! <laughs> Yo, I miss, ugly bitch! <laughs> Yo, I miss you, ugly bitch! Charlton coming up huge here with the interception of Kyler Murray, and when he takes this back, he puts us within field goal range, but we're looking to score six. A handoff from Wisnowski to Matt Hawk here, and he's going to punch it in from one yard out to put us down by three. So we're looking to come up big now. This is, this is the closest we've ever been to possibly winning. Kyler Murray just flings this one deep. As quickly as that close score came, it vanished just as fast as Christian Kirk gets his fifth receiving touchdown and puts them up by 10. We weren't able to do anything on offense, so Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals back with the ball now. He drops back, looks right side, a pump fake, was able to open AJ Green up just enough for a huge touchdown there. We were able to work our way down the field and get within range for a touchdown, which Johnny Townsend punches in. 
But, I mean, it was all for nothing. We're down 45-21 to 21 here. Another touchdown is a possibility. Wisnowski able to just fight off defenders in the backfield, punching it in for six, showing some resiliency. But another loss on the books for us. So here we are against the Bengals, and we're looking to try and make this game competitive. We've seen improvements each game, but we're starting off this game just like the last with a three and out. So here are the Bengals with the ball now. The Bengals certainly in field goal range, but Joe Burrow wants more as he looks left for that touchdown. So we're down seven to nothing now. Wisnowski with the ball in Bengals territory at around the 33 yard line. He's looking to make a game of this. He rolls out left side, but ends up just getting strip sacked. Trey Hendrickson picks up the ball here and there is nobody who's gonna be able to catch him and his speed. These kickers and punters are just slow. We need to work on getting there 40 times up. He takes this one back and things are looking bleak from the start now as it's 14 to nothing. We're halfway through the second quarter and we're looking on the triple option here with Wisnowski he tosses this one out to Townsend and believe it or not this play actually worked out pretty well we're down here at the goal line three yards out first and goal hand off to Townsend right side and he punches it in for six it's seven to fourteen. Oh, that's a Jamar Chase dude oh and after Jamar did that the floodgates opened up So here we are against the 4-0 Texans, and we are 0-4, but we're looking to make up for an embarrassing loss against the Bengals. And here Ryan Tannehill is on offense to begin with, looking right side and finds A.J. Brown, who's able to toe-drag that swag right in for the first down. So later, here they are, first and goal. And you know from the one-yard line out, Derrick Henry is unstoppable, so he is in for six down early but that doesn't matter is we're gonna hand the ball off to our Derrick Henry Johnny Townsend and he punches it for the first down Wisnowski with another hand off to Townsend this time left side and he's looking able to get the first down and then some putting us inside of Titans territory third and nine here and this is gonna be a crucial down for us hand off to Evan McPherson who is able to power his way for the first down and then some He's in the backfield here now on first and goal from the one yard line as we hand it off to him and he punches it in for six. We tie the game up, unable to actually as we miss the extra point. So here is Ryan Tannehill. He rolls out right side and despite getting absolutely smacked, he's able to get this ball out to Julio Jones who gets the first down and then some. So down at the 17 yard line here, Ryan Tannehill dropping back, looking, he's gonna throw right side to a wide open receiver who's able to cut inside and just spin and fall his way into the end zone for six. It's his first touchdown on the game. 14 to six now, four minutes out from the half and looking to do some damage with Matt Hawk as he's able to take this up to the midfield stripe. Fourth and four now with Hecker subbing into the game. All of this receivers split out wide and we're able actually to get the first down there. So third and five later here now at their 20 yard line, 50 seconds remain till half and Evan McPherson putting the team on his back. Amendola on third and goal from two yards out right before half is gonna get the handoff right here and punch it in. It's gonna be 12 to 14 as we couldn't get the two point conversion to go. So here we are, Wisnowski in the backfield gonna have hand off to Matt Hawk right here, left side. He's able to punch his way in for the first down on second and nine. And now here we are in Titans territory at the 31 yard line with Johnny Hecker in the backfield. He drops back looking to make a throw and throws to Vizcano right there for a really good first down. Third and goal at the two yard line. Wisnowski handing off to Hawk right here for his second touchdown on the game and we're winning 19 to 14 with a minute to go in the third quarter. So here's Ryan Tannehill, he's dropping back, looking for the open option, has nothing but time, and finally, we get our first sack out of the whole franchise. Britton Colquitt there is able to take down Ryan Tannehill. So on second and 17, he gets this ball to his tight end, who is just making amazing plays, shedding every tackler there to just keep going, get the first down, and then some, putting him around our 30-yard line. 
handoff to Derrick Henry from 14 yards out, and he's doing the same thing, just shedding all of the tacklers like their hair on a dog. So 22 to 19 with 3.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. We hand off to Matt Hawk, and this is the closest we've ever been to winning. 122 remaining now as it's third and five. A field goal ties it, and we're definitely within range, but we're looking to win it. So he is able to fall forward for the first down there. Another third and one now, and Matt Hawk from 10 yards out scores. But did he leave too much time? As there's 33 seconds remaining all three timeouts and we know how awful our defense is matt ryan Tannehill throwing deep here to matt bosher you've got to be kidding me so bosher ends up interfering with aj brown on the play which is a catastrophic failure as we're up by four so the titans need to score six and with 12 seconds remaining ryan Tannehill throws the screen to derrick henry and that's all she wrote as derrick henry just bobbing and weaving through defenders able to find his way into the end zone with four seconds remaining and that would do it for the game so here we are after that disappointing heartbreaking crushing loss against the dolphins and on our opening drive we're able to punch it in for six which is the first time i believe this whole series we've able to score a opening drive touchdown so hopefully that's a good sign of things to come as Tua can't find the open man just ends up taking this himself for six so on third and one we hand the ball off to Townsend he gets more than what we thought he would get the first down certainly here's fourth and eight later in the drive with Hecker dropping back looking for the open target and he finds one but falling to the ground he is not able to get the first down so it's a turnover on downs Tua Tungavailoa deep down the field here and that one is for six so we're down 14 to seven here and things are not looking good it's about drive it's about power free nba young boy another clutch interception here from this jaguars defense as you can feel that they want to carry this team to a win Bailey returning this one all the way back to the Dolphins six yard line here before half that's going to lead us to be able to put up some points and with time expiring our fullback punches it in for six so it's 14 to 14 now eight minutes to go here in the third quarter the blitz is coming but we actually fell for the fake so a deep bomb down the right side is a 49 yard touchdown for the Dolphins but we're still within range so here we are with Hecker dropping back on 4th and 11, and that one falls incomplete. So here is where things begin to fall apart for us now as the Dolphins with a handoff left side. He breaks a tackle, breaks another, and he's gone 44 yards to the house. You can see how poor the tackling is on this defense, but they are trying their ass off, I can tell you that much. So here 28 to 17 with seven minutes to go here in the fourth. Tua just drops back, throws an absolute dot to the right side and he is out of here, 53 yards to the house. So that is another loss to add to the tally as we are now have, heading to Seattle to try and dethrone Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. He throws right side to DK Metcalf here on their opening drive and scores six. So it's seven and nothing. Here we are on our opening possession. It's fourth and nine. The blitz is coming. We throw right side and Winslow's able to come down with that one. Ryan Winslow, that is not to be confused with Kellen. Handoff down the middle and it is Matt Hawk from two yards out to even up the score. Seattle is able to drive down the field. Here they are. We miss stuffing Russell Wilson on the backfield there. Ended up biting on the running back on the option there, and he's able to run in for six. So a minute and a half remaining here before the half, and Wishnowski just running, making it out of bounds after the first down. Two yards out, and Matt Hawk is going to punch this one in for six. So it's 14 all here as we got the ball to open up the second half. Handoff on fourth and two, and you wouldn't believe that Evan McPherson gets stuffed. So here, a right hand handoff, and we actually stuff Rashad Penny. So Josh Lambeau coming up big there, not getting kicked by Urban Meyer in this scenario, and they are held to a field goal. So a fumble here from Clutch Matt Hawk on fourth and one is going to give Seattle a chance here with only six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Tyler Lockett punches it in for six. And with this fourth and one play right here, handoff to Townsend left side, he gets stuffed. That would be about all she wrote. Never bother you, never 
performance yet coming up against here the bills we lose 77 to 13 i only showed you first half touchdowns because i could have sat there and showed you 10 minutes worth of footage of us getting shit on by that team but we're gonna move on to this colts game where we're actually looking to redeem ourselves we feel like we got a shot this colts team the only win they have is against us so we're looking for some revenge Naim Hines on a screen here, and we know that's a pretty big weakness from that Derrick Henry play. Handoff up the middle to Jonathan Taylor, and tackling is not our strong suit as he busts through both tacklers and dashes 46 yards to the end zone. So his 20th career rushing touchdown comes against some kickers and punters, but down 7 to nothing. Johnny Townsend's looking to make just as big of a statement. Here he is getting past the midfield stripe. Fourth and two, here we go with Johnny Townsend yet again up the middle, and he gets this one for a first down. They can't stuff us like that Steahawks defense was. One yard out on second and goal, and here is Townsend in shotgun formation, handoff up the middle, that's for six. So. We're tied at seven now with 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Carson Wentz with a handoff left side to Jonathan Taylor, and you wouldn't believe it, but he sheds some tackles and off to the races, 75 yards to the house, a one-play drive. So 13 to seven as they miss the extra point on that attempt and a handoff here from Wisnowski to Matt Hawk who punches that one for the first down on third and two. We're at the Colts 39, later at their one yard line on fourth and goal with a minute 13 left before half. We hand the ball off to Amendola who is not able to get the touchdown. So first and 10 from the one yard line. And Britton Colquitt with the absolute monster takedown of Jonathan Taylor for the safety were able to use that to get into their range after the punt and kick a field goal. So we bring this game within one point. It's 12 to 13 and that missed extra point might come up big for them later on. A handoff to Townsend. He's able to get the first down. So here on fourth and one at the 25 yard line. A handoff to Matt Hawk, and he's able to punch this one for the first down and then some, taking us inside the Colts 10 yard line. So on second and goal, three yards out, we give it back to Hawk again. He stuffs a defender, pushes through another, and is finally brought down in the end zone for six. So we're going for two points here to make this a seven point game. Hand off to Hawk again, as he's been coming up clutch, and that is the two point conversion. It's 20 to 13 now. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, here's Carson Wentz dropping back. He breaks the sack, keeps running, breaks another tackle, keeps going. Going, jukes a defender and finally slides down at the 21 yard line so third and goal at the six here now seven and a half minutes to go in the game he drops back looking for the open option rolling out right he just takes off with it and gets popped but he's able to dive forward for the touchdown so it is now 20 to 19 pending the extra point and for some reason Jonathan Taylor is out there kicking the extra point on this attempt which is unable to get up off the ground we fumble it they f we fumbled it into their hands somehow don't even ask me what just occurred during that play but we are up by one it's 20 to 19 here we are driving down the field 
41 yard line now we're at their 20 yard line on fourth and one with matt hawk trying to come up huge here and he gets the first down with the colts only having one timeout we're actually on the verge of victory we're in a position to kick a field goal whether or not they miss that extra point and a fumble by matt hawk maybe that was evan mcpherson i can't tell but we recover it and guess what we secure our win so how long does it take for a team full of punters and kickers to win well just face the colts that's all it takes is we win this game 20 to 19 if you can believe it a zero overall team finally was able to get the w and it came at the expense of carson wentz so Here's the stats looking for the season. You can see Johnny Townsend was the absolute GOAT getting over a thousand yards, but Matt Hawk was uh, pretty good in his own right. Ryan Winslow had four receptions. I mean, not, not much from the passing game to speak of there. And you can see the defense. So this was an overall really fun series. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing. We'll, we'll get to something next week. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.